Hi guys, Adam from Middos Panel Builders, and today I'm going to show you how to install database updates on the G3X Touch and the GTN series, as well as how to purchase them, uh, which ones you might want to purchase, and how to get the information you need to do that. Alright, so to do this, the first thing we have to do is we have to pop into our avionics and download what's called the system ID. The system ID identifies the aircraft uniquely for each system, so the G3X has one, the GTN or GNX or whatever has one as well. Once we get the system IDs, we're, then we're going to go back to Fly Garmin um, and insert the system IDs into the aircraft profile and then uh, purchase the databases. Then we'll download them to the SD cards and then we'll come back out here to the aircraft and install them. Okay, so we're in the aircraft, everything's booted up, so let's grab our system IDs. So on the G3X, we hit Menu, Menu, we go to Tools, and we go to Database Information, scroll down, and there's your system ID right there. On the GTN, we scroll over to the System page, we go System Status, System Info, and then there's our system ID for the GTN. Make certain that you write these down accurately, because if you get it wrong and you put it in a fly Garmin, it may or may not catch that it's wrong. And then uh, if it does let you continue and you try to install databases with an incorrect system ID, it will not install and it'll give you an error and then you have to call Garmin. So we're over on Flight Garmin here and I'll just hit uh, Add Device. And uh, now you can select all the different devices available. I'll just type in G3X at the top and then we'll click on our G3X Touch. Uh, next thing we'll have to do is put in the system ID, so I'll go ahead and do that. And again, make sure that this is as accurate as you can because uh, if you get this wrong, uh, then again, it's probably a phone call to Garmin to get it fixed. Now that we're done, we'll hit Add Device down here at the bottom. And then now we're ready to purchase our databases. And to do that, we'll just go ahead and click on the Buy Databases button at the top here. So let's go over all the different database options that Garmin has available and how to select them. On the Buy Databases page here, the first thing we do is select what region we want. So we'll select the United States for now. Then we're showing all of our different options down here. First we have the bundles which will cover the one packs, pilot packs, and then also we have the individual unit bundles. The one packs and pilot packs are very similar with the main difference in information being that the one packs are Garmin nav data and the pilot packs are Jeppesen nav data. You can click on the question marks here at the top in the blue box to pull up the coverage items. Uh, so for example we'll pull up real quick the one pack page and you can see all the different options that are available to you in here and what uh, units they cover and then also the same for the pilot packs page. If you're in North America the one pack will be your choice more than likely uh, but if you're overseas then you'll likely be looking at the pilot packs with them being more expensive due to the Jepson nav data. Both options will cover the G3X and the GTN or GNX and provide all databases that are available for both units. You can see for the one packs here we have some additional options with coverage for Canada, the US and Americas which covers both countries. We can also select with or without flight charts which are your approach plates and your departure and arrival plates. You can see here what's covered like nav data, safe taxi, obstacles, terrain, etc. Most people that are flying IFR in the US will likely want something like the United States Standard plus flight charts one pack. And if you also plan to fly into Canada then again you'll likely want the Americas one instead. You can also select individual bundles which cover, for example, just the G3X Touch or just the GTN. Uh, so one example where this makes potential sense would be to perhaps get a full featured bundle for the G3X and then maybe only get the nav data for the GTN to keep it legal for IFR, uh, which would be covered under a single update for one cycle or an annual subscription uh, for the entire year. Which one you choose is going to depend on the types of flights you're taking and also to some degree how much you want to spend on updates. I've heard of many pilots doing the previous example where they pick and choose which updates each unit gets and even maybe skipping out on something like flight charts because they use an EFB like 4 flight or Garmin pilot. So they'll use that instead of the G3X for approach plates meaning they won't need say the one pack here with flight charts. This is a valid example as long as it works for you in the cockpit but in my opinion having the charts right on my EFIS is invaluable so I would personally go for having the charts on screen. Uh, in this case though uh, we're going to go for a G3X Touch bundle and we're just going to select the US database bundle and add it to the cart. So now on the cart here you can go ahead and just uh, enter your discount code if you have it or just hit checkout. And then on the left side here is where you can select your shipping address. Of course, I've got that blurred out in this case. 
um, you want to continue through. Uh, right now it's giving me an address verification, so I'll just click on this and then hit continue again. And finally, we'll get to the payment page, so I'll just click on credit card and then uh, I'll go ahead and enter my card information and then hit place order when I'm done. Now the order's been completed, we can hit the redeem bundle button here, uh, but we're actually met with a message that says uh, that they're still processing the order and that the items may not display yet. Uh, so we'll come back once the uh, order is ready to be redeemed. One thing I wanted to bring up really quick is that you can also install and view Jepson charts on your EFIS. Uh, you have to purchase the chart view key uh, once in order to do so. Uh, to purchase the key it's simple, you click here on buy databases, select any region, click on single updates, click G3X touch, then add the chart view key to your cart. Installing the chart view key is the same procedure as the rest of the databases which we'll cover shortly. Alright so back at the aircraft page we can now redeem our bundle and so uh, we'll hit the show all databases button here just to see what's available to us again this is United States coverage and you can see everything's in there so we'll hit redeem and then that's done so now we can install them so we'll click on install updates over on the right here and then you can select how you want to do this uh, update expired databases is good if you've already done updates in the aircraft we haven't so I'll do reinstall all databases and just get everything put onto the card uh, everything's selected, so I'll hit the Launch Garmin Aviation Database Manager and hit Allow. Now we're in the Database Manager, uh, so I already have the SD card in, so I'll continue, and it just automatically pushes through, and uh, we'll be back once this is done downloading and installing onto the SD card. Okay, so now that that's done, we can hit the Done button over here and then uh, we can remove the SD card from the computer and then now we have to go do the uh, GTN update so we'll get that ready. So over on the devices and aircraft page here uh, we'll scroll down and we'll go to the GTN XI and then we will hit this button here that says redeem a coupon. Uh, we'll type in our coupon code which comes with the GTN unit in the documentation package and then hit the redeem button here and now we can select the coverage that we want so I'll just do Americas by Garmin for everything or United States where applicable and then I'll hit redeem coupon and now again the same way that we do the G3X touch we're going to want to install the updates on the GTN so we'll click on the GTN we'll hit install updates uh, once again reinstall all databases is going to be the selection I make because this is the first time and we'll hit allow and now we can deselect the G3X, hit continue on the GTN, hit reinstall again and hit continue. Uh, we'll probably have to accept, and there it is, the license agreement. We'll make sure we click continue again and now uh, we'll wait for this to download and install. Okay, so that's done. So we'll hit the done button once again. Uh, eject the SD card from the computer and then I'm going to prepare uh, one more SD card for the secondary G3X touch display and then we'll go out to the aircraft. Alright so now we're going to do the install. I've got three cards here so we'll just pop them into their respective units. We'll go ahead and turn on our avionics switch and then we'll just let everything boot up. Okay, the GTN came up first, so that's the one that will start first. Every database on here needs to be updated. Uh, if it doesn't need to be updated, it won't automatically check it. Uh, so we'll just hit start though in the corner, and then now the GTN's doing its thing. And that was actually really fast, and it's done. Uh, now we'll pull the card out of the GTN. They tell you not to keep that database card in that unit. We'll hit continue, and then we'll verify the dates. Everything's good until... Uh, either 1st of December or 29th of December. So that one's good to go. And then we can continue through and that one's ready. Now on both the G3Xs, we get uh, this database page here. So the only one that does not need to be updated is Terrain because it's already up to date and installed. So we'll just hit update all on both screens. And this is the part where I re really recommend that you have one card for each screen because once it gets to the IFR VFR charts, 
Uh, and if you have to do the train update, that can really take a while. And you can see even the flight charts are taking a while too. So if it has to do everything, it can take upwards of 45 minutes. So it's just better to have both cards ready to go and then uh, you're not waiting twice. All right, so as you can see here, the updates are done and we get the message at the bottom of the screen to press the back key to finish and reboot. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull the SD cards out of the displays. And then I'll hit the reboot on both. Okay, so we're rebooted. So to check your databases, uh, you actually get the confirmation page that comes up over here, but this one's actually set up to boot up with the engine page. Uh, so what we do is we hit menu, menu. We go back to tools and to database information. And then we just check the dates and December 1st, December 1st and uh, December 29th. So everything's up to date over here. Uh, of course, you wanna cross-reference both screens. And then uh, as long as everything's good, your databases are ready to go. One thing I'll show you real quick is if you ever have an issue and you need to reinstall your databases for any reason, if you uh, hit menu in here um, and you have a database card in the screen, you can hit update databases at the top there and then you can reselect the databases that you want to update. So on the GTN to check your uh, databases, we just go back to system here, system status, and then there's database info for active and standby. Standby would be if you preloaded a card uh, with a future update that is not uh, active yet, but we'll hit active on here. And then we see again, the date matches uh, over here. So this is what you would do if you accidentally continued through that database check screen without looking at that first. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty easy to, uh, to do this once you understand the different options that are available. Unfortunately, Garmin doesn't make that part too easy, but once you get the understanding there, uh, you can just select what you want, and, and uh, the installation process is really easy. It just takes a while. Um, one thing is I recommend getting a total of five SD cards for an aircraft that has two G3X displays and one GTN. The reason why, uh, you keep two cards blank, and the G3X will run uh, data onto it, and then the other two cards are your database update cards so that you can uh, put your database on both of them at the same time and then put them in the G3X. All right, so I hope that helps you uh, get the databases installed. Uh, if you have any questions on how to do this or you're running into any issues, feel free to give us a call or send us an email. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.